Now, people, if there's one thing that we know about dancehall is that Vice Cartel has the most loyal followers. It is almost like a cult following. They believe Vice Cartel can and won't do anything wrong. And whatever Vice Cartel does, he is defended to the max. We are talking about by the Gaza nation. They think that Vice Cartel is the tell all, the be it all of everything. And basically, we see that the media blames Vice Cartel for everything. And also, his followers, they are always defending him. So people take a listen, take a look to this video that basically explains we are speaking about the typical Gaza fan and then I'll give my peace. I sang them, them sang them, them up here. My dance will get free again. I sang sang the two of them up. Let us cartel, make cartel run that country. Cartel! Cartel! I bet them cartel to stay my country. I bet them cartel to stay my country. You have to go. Wait, wait, wait. Gunshot! <laughs> 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 Cartel are still I want to them done. I just stream bad. It's if cartel never bad. Look at them. Cartel are run poor. I want to them. They say I got this and tell you that. Cartel, cartel, they are prison money better than me and you. Yeah, I am big of idiot. But look for the blood. Cartel can't get a girl to come blow job in a prison. Yeah, you have a First time I'm coming, I'm a lighter down to I'm on your prison, the blood job over there, road, and the bag. Man, you sound dead. You sound top there, so. You man, you're a prison, man. Hey, they are like, if you have no money, no girl, now look for you. Let's have your gun. 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 Let's have Clap, please. Gaza, 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 now people if you know anything about Dan Sal you know said Vibes Cartel versus Movada Clash was one of the biggest clash in the history of dancehall i think 2006 to 2008 when them buck up a sting some people we see some persons are saying gaza and some persons are saying golly however in this video it is all about cartel we see that cartel is a very eccentric person we see that he is a very influential person as it pertains to the culture of dancehall and the youths in dancehall so therefore we see that persons are willing to go above and beyond as it pertains to cartel especially the gaza nation and people the truth and the fact that there are different types of fans there are 
educated fans such as myself that is a fan of vice cartels music however some of the things that he do it is basically questionable however there are persons out there that think that vice cartel can and won't and will never do anything wrong so people this is a perfect example of such a fan however we see that they are willing to defend vice cartel to the max whatever he has done or allegedly has done it does not matter it is all about vice cartel it is all about his music it is all about gaza nation so people like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that most countries they have implemented a tanaya yard we are talking about protocol for basically stop the spread of the big sea we are talking about the COVID-19 and in Jamaica specifically we see that they have a disaster risk management act and it said that you are supposed to social distance we are speaking about responsibly now in this video that i am about to show there is somebody or there is someone in some sort of spanish country and um, people it seems like he realized that persons them stubborn them ears hard they are not adhering they are not obeying these protocols so therefore he made some sort of contraption to make sure say people stay away from him he is talking about distancing we're talking about social distancing responsibly so people take a listen take a look to this video and then i'll give my peace Ficar aqui na fila. Ah. Pronto, meu chefe. Gostei da inteligência, viu? Rapaz, entrar até hoje dá de tudo, viu? Now people, the message is in Spanish, however, the message is still clear. It is universal. Back the F up, turn out your yard or turn away from it. Move B I T C H, move out of my way. Don't spread this virus to me. May I talk about keep it to yourself if you have it. So, people, there you go. Whether it is Jamaica, whether it is Cuba, whether it is Hispaniola, whether as Spain, whether America, anywhere, the message is still the same. Owner stay away from each other. Owner social distance responsibly point blank and period now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that law enforcement they've been having a very hard time for getting these people to obey we are speaking about the social distancing and the turn of the yard protocol and it seems like persons think that it is a cat and mouse game as it pertains to the purple and themselves and they're always playing games and um, people you have to understand that the purple or law enforcement they are going to do whatever it takes for basically make them point so in this video i am going to show you and um, people again this is not jamaica like the first video because i understand that i have a lot of critics that are just looking for things to nitpick and basically complain and um, b-i-t-c-h about so people that is my disclaimer so take a listen take a look to this video and then i'll give my peace Now there is a saying in Jamaica that goes like this the higher the monkey climbs is the more that he is exposed and most importantly show off bring this grace because people your sister this man he was taunting the authority he must be a scally moaning them and for those of you that are squares and don't understand what moaning means it basically means you are showing your ass to somebody in a this way basically you are expose yourself and it is a form of being very disrespectful 
However, like we say, oh laugh first, laugh last, and who oh, laugh last, laugh best. And in this case, we say so the authority, they got the last laugh, and they basically got the victory. So people, let me know what you think in the comment section. Now people, in the last video I showed you, the last two videos, we saw that persons were not obeying the Tanaya Yard policy. And we see that they were dissing the authority. However, in this video, it is the perfect example of how the Jamaican Popo Disciplinary Committee acts or treat persons that are violating the Disaster Risk Management Act. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Oi, squat. Hey, the foot too sweet, you know. Squat. What up here? How are you? My yard is dirty to the police vehicle, you know. Now, people, sometimes we have to make bad things or take bad things and make joke. However, your sister is Jamaican poor poor. They are not professional all the time and sometimes they are having fun on the job at the expense. However, in this case, we see say, somebody get some sort of exercise, them be a scally or build up them legs. They are building up there. We are talking about squatting exercise. And um, people, we see say, the popo was jeering them. We see say, the popo was telling them, my dirty up the popo car. And people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. The popo has a very stressful job. So this is some sort of relief. We are talking about stress relief. And it is good once nobody gets hurt. However, we see say sometimes it can go way, way left. However, in this case, all's well that ends well, apparently, from the video that we are seeing. I don't know anything else. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.